Welcome to target tip of the day. Today we're going to look into how to make a top list and include a sum of the rest. Here we are in target looking at a cross tab shown revenue by salesperson. Out of the box all the salespeople are represented and they're sorted uh, in this case alphabetically. What we want to do is make a top list and the normal way to do that in the target would be to go to the calculations tab, go to add top list slash Pareto analysis and now you have access to top list, bottom list, top percent, bottom percent. In my case I'll go with the top five and just click apply. And mission is half complete now, I just need the sum of the rest. However, this approach doesn't allow to make a sum of the rest since that data is not known to target when you use this approach. So I'm actually going to have to remove my top list again. I'm going back and I'll say remove top list. So I need a different approach when I want a sum of the rest. Now, having done a top list, data was automatically sorted descendingly. Of course, you can change this just by clicking the arrow here. So now uh, ascendingly and descendingly again. But descendingly uh, suits my purpose really well because what I want to do now is to count my way down <coughs> and when we get to number six and all the subsequent rows we're going to hide those. In target when you hide stuff you go to properties and you make a visibility agent. So I make one of those. I'm going to hide members and members in this case equals rows. So now I need to set up a condition for hiding uh, these uh, rows and I prepared some target syntax here in Notepad. Here you can see all count. What it does is it counts all the rows 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc. And when it's above 5 the condition is met. I'll just copy and paste that condition and look at the action that happens when the condition is met it will hide salesperson. OK to this. And now we're back. Now we have a top five, but we're in much better shape now because now we know about the rest. They're just hidden. They're actually still known to target. So now I can make a calculation, um, a custom calculation as a single row and call it sum of the rest. And the actual syntax again, I have prepared it in the notepad. What it does, it says sum of the current column, all the hidden, H stands for hidden rows, and the only measure uh, represented is M1, in this case revenue. So I'll just copy that and paste that also and hit apply. And there we are. Now we have a top five with the sum of the rest. Stay tuned on this channel for another tip of the day. Thank you and have a nice day.